and this is the Four Turtles. We're having a great time there. Uh, so one of the things that we, uh, that we talked about with, um, with the performers, with the actors, you know, we had a great relationship with them, is that in computer graphics, we're really good about giving you you know, happy or sad or concerned or something like that. But it's a lot more interesting if you see somebody arrive at that emotion. So if you have somebody that is about to tell a joke, it's great to see that person and you can see the sparkle in their eye and then the mouth goes. Or when they're getting angry, especially with, uh, with Raph over here, with Alan. Uh, he, uh, we worked really, really hard on getting uh, adjustments and transitions. And so, for instance, you can see that the adjustment right there was translated directly into this, this performance, you know, right there. I'll just play this one. You can see how he changes right there. And that's where we were more interested, because then when we put it into the animation, then this is what happens. Uh, so, for instance, this would be the comparison. And you can see that it changes right there. Now, our system, the difference between our system and other systems that have been around for other summer movies is that we scientifically capture the performance and we scientifically put it onto the digital the creature. But then in the middle, we edit the performance and we bring in animators that artistically change the performance so that instead of just being a performance that is completely mechanically correct, uh, we, we bring the artistry into, into, into the performance so that uh, we, can, um, we can tell the story of the specific shot. Um, let me just, okay. this, is, this is another example of, of the shot because of, of, uh, of performance capture because you can see that the more, the closer the actor is to the, uh, to the creature, the better the performance comes across. And because Mikey has a, just a, such a juicy part, right? I mean, he's, he's all over the place, and he's so, so funny. You can see, you know, the actor, you know, right there, the eyes, the droopy eyes. He has a specific way of smiling. You know, we change a little bit here and there, you know, specific things. But you can see also that the timing um, is right. So he makes some, the actors make some choices right there that we capitalize on. Uh, and then I'll show you other examples of, of other things. Uh, this is uh, Donnie, and you can see the actor right there reacting. This is Leo, um, and the actor, the performance. So you can see that, that we really went through um, a lot of development, about a year and a half of development for, for uh, motion capture, in which we really got the, uh, the faces to be um, you know, like for instance, if you if you go over here, uh, you you would see his performance right here. Uh, it was it was a lot of fun, uh, but it's a really difficult thing. I mean, we, like I say, I was working on this for about three years. Um, this is this is also another example of a good performance. And what you see over here in the uh, in the top left is only the left camera and the distorted is a very wide lens. They're both really wide lenses so that you get to the, to the edge of the, uh, the eyes and the jaw. And you can see the performance is right. And then what you can see right here is a very quick render of the performance really grabbed right there and then put on a, what we call a plastic render so that it's not really realistic looking, but it's part of the animation. And this is the actual performance. Me, I got a secret back to orange crush behind the fridge. Don't tell that. This is another performance of, another, you know, typical example of performance that was grabbed from different takes. Because this, this was grabbed in about four different days. And so our, um, so, um, so I think, oh, sorry, oops. Let me just go back there. I think one of the things that, that, that uh, one of the reasons why you ha we had to go with this, uh, with this kind of software is uh, we knew throughout the, the, you know, the movie that it was going to be a, a melange of different, dif different performances. So this, this is a specific shot in which, see this is the performance from the set.
So this is. They wore armbands to identify themselves, I guess. They yes, they did because it's really difficult to, to know which one is which. Sure. So, uh, so for all the technicians, about it's 500 people on the set or something like that, and you'll see what uh, more or less what the set looks like. See right there. You only see this is this is taken from a witness camera, right? That that captures the the body. Um, the body motion. So we had again two different captures. One is the body, and the other one is the, is the face. And you can see the other uh, two actors right here. And they're they don't know that they're on or not, but they're acting. It doesn't matter what they're doing; they're also acting. You can see also that at the beginning of his performance, this is edited. So we're taking the beginning of his performance. There was some air in there in which he was waiting, and then we took that out. So we need to get those curves and all the data put together, and then. Um, okay, thanks. Um, here. And you can see that also the, the thing about this is that the actors are acting with, with the partner, you know, with, with, the, with, uh, with Megan and everybody else, so the islands are correct. This is also another example of... Um, A, a capture that we did um, on the set. I mean, on 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 volume. It's called a volume render. But the but the thing about the reason why also we needed to edit this performance is because, being that it's such a humorous movie, you got four funny actors sitting around the table interpreting a specific scene, and then you have a bunch of writers there saying, "Hey, try this. Try this other thing. Try this other." So at the end, the performance is. A complete, you know, kind of cut and paste from all these different things, and it's a typical thing on, on filmmaking. That is one of the only things that are left in which collaboration is one of the things that uh, that makes a movie, right? So completely, yeah. That's why I say I was I was in a comic con because we're working on all this. Uh, so that'll give you a, a pretty good idea of. Uh, so this this also shot is a um, it's a kind of a pretty good example of something that just happened on the set. It wasn't on the on the script, but we we're just waiting for one of.